Good morning, teachers. Morning. Good morning, teachers. 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 Good morning, ma'am. How have you good been? Morning, you all. Yeah, all good. <laughs> morning, ma'am. Good Mr. morning Shama, to you all. Good morning, ma'am. Ma good morning, ma'am. Good morning to you all. Good morning, Neelam. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Shaila. Good morning, teachers. Good morning. Good morning. We have two more minutes to Good go. Good morning, teachers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. couple of minutes we can wait uh, to get everybody in because uh, some of them must be finishing their ETM this morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am.
I request um, everybody to mute yourselves, please. Yeah. Chaya, we can begin. Yes. Can we start now? Yeah, cha, yeah. Please start. The video one. everyone. Let me start by quoting Sir Isaac Newton. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. And if today, Wallam stands at the forefront of educational institutions of our country, it is because of the empowered vision of our founder principal, Miss Grace Mary Linnell. On this solemn occasion, as we gather here today for her memorial service, we salute her integrity, her indomitable spirit, and her commitment, which continue to inspire Wellamites even today. I would now like to invite our principal, Mrs. Samba Shivam, to take over the proceedings. Thank you, Chaya, and good morning to everyone present here. Dear colleagues, ex-staff members, and the alumni, and my dear Wellamites. We've all gathered here for Miss Grace Linnell's memorial service, a dear founding principal. It is imperative that we all stand together this day to reflect on the ideals and ethos that this wonderful institution was built on. Ms. Linnell's grace, we believe, envelops us, guiding us every day to choose the harder right over the easier wrong. Well is what it is today because every leader, every staff and every student have tried to emulate Ms. Linnell's way of life, a life deeply committed to all that is right. A life that rose beyond the self, a life of utmost integrity, compassion and ethics. As is our tradition, I visited number 12 today where Ms. Linnell eternally rests. And I have in my hands Ms. Linnell's diary, and I shall read a prayer from the same. We begin the day's service with a prayer. Please join your hands and close your eyes for the prayer. Dear God, show thy mercy upon us all. Help us to overcome our many faults and failings. 
help us to be more thoughtful, to learn, to see, and respect the rights of others, to think less of ourselves and more of others. Without thy help, we cannot see the follies of our own behavior. Without thy help, we cannot realize our own selfishness and the pain we cause to others. Without thy help, we cannot learn the joy of working with and for others. All of us here today need thy help. We pray to thee for thy great mercy to bestow that grace, thy grace, according to our own several needs. Amen. With this, I'd also like to welcome amidst us Ms. Geeta Sharma, who will in a little while talk about the impact that she has felt being part of Wellam and understanding the spirit of Wellam, uh, which has been actually initiated by our own Ms. Grace Lennon. Thank you, Geeta, for being here with us today. Chaya, you may take. Secular in her outlook, Miss Linnell was also a true humanist. She exemplified the belief that a guru is one who dispels the darkness of ignorance and brings the light of knowledge into our lives. a surah from the Holy Quran, asking God to guide us on the path of righteousness so that we may choose the harder right instead of the easier wrong. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, the most beneficent, the most merciful, owner of the day of judgment, 
the alone we worship the alone we ask for help show us the straight path the path of those whom thou has favored not the path of those who earn thine anger nor of those who go astray the choir will now be rendering the hymn there shall be showers of blessings celebrating the grace and blessings of lord almighty there shall be showers of blessing this is the promise of love there shall be seasons of refreshing sent from the savior above showers of blessing showers of blessing we need mercy drops round us are falling but for the showers we need there shall be showers of blessing precious reviving again over the hills and the valleys sound of abundance of rain showers of blessing showers of blessing we need mercy drops from us are falling but for the showers we need showers of blessing showers of blessings we need mercy drops round us are falling but for the showers we need but for the showers we need The choir shall now be presenting the Shabad Ram Simar, guiding one to shun the illusions of the materialistic world and find solace in the sanctuary of God.
would like to invite Ma'am Geeta Sharma to say a few words. Thank you, Chaya. Good morning, Velomites, my colleagues, Mrs. Sambashiva. Today is May 8th, Miss Linnell's memorial, a day that is very dear to all of us gathered here. Today I am missing the ambience of the prayer platform. With all the Velomites around us, looking at Miss Linnell's photo and remembering her. A day to connect to our roots and look back to see how it all began and reminisce all that Wellens stands for. For all the new students gathered here, Ms. Linnell was a founder principal of Wellum. When Mrs. Sambashivan asked me to speak about Ms. Linnell, I was rather excited. I have idolized her ever since I joined Wellum as a teacher 30 years ago. But since I had never met her, I decided to ask someone who had. My husband, our very own Dr. Sharma, who had met Linnell as a five-year-old when he used to visit his Masi, who was studying here at Wellum. He told me he remembered Miss Linnell walking towards him, a tall, looming, stern figure. But she would always bend down, hold his hand, and warmly say, how do you do? He used to be thrilled with all that personal attention. And that, dear Velomites, was Miss Linnell, a very warm and caring person to all who knew her. She was not only tall in height, she was equally tall in her ideas and thoughtfulness for everyone around her, be it the students, the teaching staff, or the sub-staff. To tell you more about the legend that was Miss Grace Mary Linnell, I've taken inputs from the innumerable stories that I have heard over the years and also from the teacher's tale. Some of the best qualities that describe Miss Linnell, courage, determination, and self-confidence. Otherwise, Back in 1956, how could she have started Wellum with just 11,000 rupees? Pure determination, Wellumites, and courage of conviction. Miss Linnell believed in leading by example. So everyone around her felt, if she can do it, so should we. She was also a great listener open-minded and always ready to hear out others. Students found her very approachable and they would run to her with, her, with their problems. Miss Linnell was also very clear in her vision for Wellum. She wanted it to be an exemplary educational institution that preserved Indian culture. The first example is the uniform. The second, the choice of the school motto in Sanskrit. And third, she wanted Velamites to learn as many Indian languages as possible. Velamites, please note, Ms. Linnell was very keen that Velamites learned Indian languages. Ms. Linnell loved children and did not mind them being naughty. It was part of the game. But what she would not put up with was two things, dishonesty and cheating. She always I'm choose the harder right than the easier wrong. I have tried to put down a few key points which Miss Linnell wanted of every Wellamite. Think for yourselves, 
ask questions and discuss things with your teachers. Elamites, don't be intimidated by your peers. Push yourself to doing things that you want to do. Secondly, to develop a sense of fair play and straightforward behavior. Wellamites, many times in the dormitory, we find a lonely child. Look out for them, be inclusive, learn to listen, be tolerant, but never arrogant. To develop a high spirit of social service. Social service need not be done only in school. Look out for opportunities at home too. See where you can make others happy. Finally, to have an identity, your own identity, to be able to influence your family and city. Speak up for what is right, Wellamites. Do not succumb to the pressures of this is the done thing. If you feel it is unjust, you must do something about it. Ms. Linnell has set an example for all of us. Let us exemplify her spirit by striving to be that individual who can make a difference in the society we live in. Thank you. I'll now invite Mrs. Sambhishivam to take over the proceedings. Thank you, Geeta. Thank you so much for that um, uh, wonderful thought. And um, I know it comes from the heart, so it makes it all the more beautiful. And we never knew about this little anecdote with Dr. Sharma. Um, we, we've spent maybe five years together, almost day in and day out, and we, I never got to hear it. So it was really nice that you, you were there for us today to share this beautiful anecdote, yes. Um, and um, I just wanted to share with you and also with the rest of the Wellamites who are my, my little ones who are sitting here today. Um, Ms. Geeta Sharma spoke to you all about what our um, motto is, Artha Shanti Phala Vidya, which means we will have to be contributing individuals because Ms. Linnell believed true education is when you can alleviate the misery that is there in the community. If you can move and just do something uh, you know, proactively than just lament about what is there today, what is not right today. She did not just ask us to be the voice uh, for others or just to raise something that is unjust, but she wanted us to act. And I'm so proud today to share something that the alumni have done with all of you. And I'm very sure Ms. Linnell must be standing above and smiling. Because what she has said, our Wellamites, our alumni have done it. And I just want to share with you, uh, you all know that there is a huge uh, you know, deficit in the supply of oxygen and especially with COVID-19 ravaging and its, its effect has been really, really devastating. But our Wellamites, wherever they are, they don't stop. They understand and they act on it. So there is this initiative that they have gotten together to do. It's called Wellam Breathe. And Wellam Breathe is a collaborative endeavor of the school's alumni and Mission Oxygen, a nonprofit initiative to help provide oxygen to critical patients battling for their lives. And I want to leave you with two uh, people, uh, two of the alumni who said, the never ending pleas for help heartbreaking visuals of people dying outside hospitals, the constant fear, despair, and helplessness. We knew it was time to act, and Wellum Breathe was the natural progression of our synergy, says Disha Chopra, a Wellum Breathe. And finally, one more, which is very beautiful because this is what Wellum stands for, and this is what Ms. Linnell wanted us to be. Uh, we have Mehek uh, Taneja speaking, saying, being a proud Indian and a Wellam alumni, I believe it is my social responsibility to support this incredible initiative, which is Wellam Breed. At a point of time when the whole of India is collectively gasping for breath, 
I am determined to engage all my fellow Indian expats in the UAE into concerted action that will make Mission Oxygen larger and more successful. That is what we will do. We will stand together. We will not be mute and passive citizens of this country. We will all not just raise our voices against all that is unjust, but collectively do something together. And my little ones, I want you to now take uh, inspiration from your own Velamites, our alumni, and do your bit in your uh, you know, environment. Like Mrs. Sharma said, it is not about um, you know, doing one day, but it is about rising to the occasion every time you see something and contributing at the level that you can as an individual. Please believe in the power of the individual. And um, I'm sure Ms. Linnell will be a very happy person watching us and blessing us as she always does and be and remain our guiding spirit all through. Thank you, Velamites, for being here today. Happy summer vacation. Keep your cheer and hope. Like I shared yesterday, whatever you do, have a routine for yourself. Be moderate in your ways, whether you're watching television or otherwise, or entertaining yourself in some means. Read whenever you can. Look around and be sensitive to not just people outside of your homes, but charity begins at home, they say. So look out, uh, be respectful, be uh, grateful, and uh, learn to be hopeful and keep your cheer going. That's the strength of Wellamites. And I'm looking forward to having you all very soon, God willing. Thank you. Thank you, Geeta, once again for being here. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Happy ma holidays, ma'am. Happy holidays, ma'am. Happy holidays, ma'am. Bye, 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 ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.